I got a message today on my uh, email from a television producer in California by the name of Alex. He's a subscriber and is looking for people to do, a, of course, a reality show. It's the same thing we get all the time. And uh, what made it was a little bit different about Alex is he uh, was actually watched the channel. I don't know if he's a subscriber or not, but he, he did know about the channel kind of understood what it was about and so I could tell in his email you know he was I thought well I'll just I'll, you know, give him the courtesy of the call back to tell him that I'm not interested in it and he asked me uh, kind of gave me a spiel and asked me you know quite honestly you know what why wouldn't you take advantage of this or why wouldn't you why don't you uh, uh, jump on this opportunity and I had to well, I explained to him as I explained to so many people that I speak with on the same topic that taking a step forward. I see television as kind of a dinosaur media or taking a step back, but it's worse than that because it's dishonest. These uh, reality shows, the reason why they produce these reality shows, and they are popular, people watch them obviously, uh, is because they are they don't cost them anything to produce. They don't have to pay the talents anything and they can just basically exploit people um, and make tons of money in the process. What they all offer is the same thing. They offer access to an audience that you wouldn't be able to get on YouTube. That's what they say about these millions of views and exposure that will you know, change your channel and all of this. But at what cost? You know, that's what they don't see. This channel has not been built on sensationalism or controversy, controversy or conflict, but it's been built on, on honesty and sincerity. And, and integrity. And for them to send a crew out here, as I explained to him, um, and me to have to perform in five or six days or however long they stay out here to produce the type of content that the television audiences require and demand would be insincere. The truth of the modern homesteading or out here is not exciting. It's not, uh, there's not conflict, there's not drama. It's just day-to-day -day things that go on. That's what I always share with you. I don't create content just for YouTube that I share with you the things that I'm interested in, the things that I like, and, and things that, I, that I'm doing on a daily basis. And that would never work for, for television. Everyone that I've talked to that has went from YouTube to working with these Hollywood production companies, well, everyone that I've talked to has really regretted it. They felt like they had been lied to and exploited, and they, uh, once they lost control of their content, then who knows what can happen. You know, they can make you look any way you want, any way they want to, and it's usually not going to be in a favorable way. It's not going to be in an honest way. I can't help but think, you know, I look at this channel as a, as a ministry. As I always say, one thing that you guys are not privileged to, even in the comments, are the personal messages that I receive. And this channel has been a touchstone for for a lot of a lot of folks, or folks that have have gotten courage from it, or maybe just got a glimpse of a of a way of living that they'd never really considered before, and that's changed the way they think, it changed their paradigm, changed their lives. You know, I know mean, it sounds pretty grandiose, but it's true. I talk I talk to people all the time. I I know what it's doing, and the more I folks I talk to, the more I see people's lives are being touched the more I, um, stubborn I'm going to be to maintain the integrity here, maintain what we have, and to, and to not sell out. You don't build an audience like we have here, a family, uh, on, um, on lies and, and deceit and, and insincerity. But all of that, all of that hard work, all those years and years of labor and videos and work, and all of them be, be undone by turning over your life to someone who doesn't have your best interest at heart.
but I can't help but think that is this an opportunity that, that there, is there something here? Is there something we could do with this? So I don't have any, any dreams or passions or desires to be television. I don't have any stars in my eyes. I don't, I don't want that. I don't particularly like being recognized in public. But I do want to reach as many folks as I can. That's why we, that's why we do the best we can with the channel because we want to, want to help, help folks have, have a have something I think that can help people so is there but how do you go about it is it is television the, the key is that something is there something there that could be created that could be done right I mean there's been so very few programs that have actually been worth watching that would have any redeeming factors whatsoever but the thing that keeps coming up is that it's not like they're coming to us with an idea. They're coming to us and they want an idea. So there is an opportunity here. But is that something that should even be entertained? Or do we just keep going along and doing what we're doing here? Because what we're doing here, we have control over what we do. We have control over the content. We're not beholden to anyone. We don't have to perform like a like a circus animal at a carnival and I'm not willing to do that but I also don't want to you know if, if God is providing a way for us to increase the audience or to reach people that we've not been able to reach I don't want to turn my back and miss that opportunity either it's a kind of a, a tough call I just don't know uh, I'm not sure what to do with all of that. I'm not one of those guys that's going to lie to you and say I'm going to go on, make a video and and ask my subscribers to tell me what I need to do. You know, I, only only I can make that decision. Only my family can can make those important decisions. But one thing that has really helped me and has really steered the direction of the channel is is the comments or different ideas. You know, there's, there's, there's wisdom and safety in, in a council, the Bible tells us, by counseling with people and getting other ideas and seeing things from a different perspective. There's safety in that. There's wisdom in that. So I guess the reason for the video is this, that I like to hear some other perspectives. Is TV completely a lost cause? Is it something that should be avoided? you should run away from or is it something that could be used to glorify God and to, and to touch people's lives you know that's the question the success of this channel and the accolades and the pats on the back and everything that come with it are a, are a snare to me it is a uh, something I've got to be careful with because one thing that happens with men is is that uh, if they hear something for so long and so many times they actually start to believe it, start buying into it. The truth of the matter is that we're all God's children and we're all we all have our shortcomings. But when you hear the accolades, when you hear the, you know, all, all the good things and all the compliments people say and all that, you got to be careful not to buy into that. That's why it's so important to stay focused on our Savior, to constantly and daily compare ourselves to His character. And when we do that, then who can be pride, prideful? Who can not help but be humble, who cannot really see us for who we are and all of our weaknesses and imperfections. And that's the thing I think that destroys so many people in Hollywood and celebrities is that they surround themselves with yes men, yes women, 
you know, always told for years and years, athletes and stuff, about how wonderful they are. And they lose touch. They lose touch with reality. And they have no, no touchstone. They have no foundation. Nothing to compare themselves. Nothing to check themselves for who they really are. They start to buy into that nonsense. That's another problem I see with this whole media thing and the continued success and recognition that comes from it. The Bible tells us what it's a profit a man to gain the whole world if in so doing he loses his soul or loses who he is or loses his touch with reality. In that regards we should just shut it all down maybe and not keep I don't know. It's a concern to me, though. 